Hi, today we're going to be talking about why we see so much depression and anxiety and mood swings and also extreme fatigue in people that are dealing with chronic disease. If we haven't met yet, my name is Pam Bartha and I am the author of Become a Wellness Champion and the founder of Live Disease Free. And I am really happy to share this with you because I've got some great insights to share with you. I work with hundreds of people that are dealing with chronic disease and want to recover. And I've been doing that for years. Why? Because years ago, 29 years ago, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. And I'm happy to share with you that by the grace of God and a lot of hard work on my part, I have been able to live MS free for the past 29 years. And now I'm helping hundreds of people all over the world recover. And it is my passion to get this information out to you because you don't have to suffer like this. There is a better way. You can overcome depression, anxiety, mood swings. It's not that hard, but you have to do the right things. Dr. Amen is one of the hero doctors that I really love. I, I have a lot of admiration for him. And he even shares, he's a brain expert. So take it from a brain expert. And he's, he says that dealing with depression and anxiety, that is a biological situation. So it's like the biology of our body is out of balance and it can be returned back to balance. So what do I see as the two main factors that are causing all of this brain, the brain issues? And it's not just depression, anxiety, chronic fatigue, but it's also foggy head and memory issues. Well, number one, this is really new to a lot of integrative healthcare professionals and, and even just science in general is chronic silent infections in the body. So the poisons from these infections that start in the gut and eventually they move into the blood and they can cross a blood brain barrier. So we have this large burden of infection or, and the toxins from the infection in the gut, but then we can also have infection in the brain. So the poisons produced from these infections, and there's tons of proof and evidence on this, but I'm just putting you on the track so that you understand where, what you need to do in order to recover. So the toxins from these infections, they, they will cause the symptoms themselves, but also sometimes our immune system is responding to these infections. So it's an immune response that can actually, and it's called a cascade of cytokines that can actually cause all of these symptoms that we're dealing with, all the head symptoms, brain symptoms. So these infections can make our brain sick, can make all kinds of nerves sick, and we can get neurological symptoms, but we can also have a sick brain. And Dr. Amen has scanned thousands and thousands of brains, and the exciting thing is that your brain can heal. So the second big factor of what's causing our brain to be sick is that when we do get a diagnosis of chronic disease, then very often we are put on certain medications. And it is very commonly known in, in the pharmaceutical industry that certain medications can cause anxiety or depression or mood swings or severe fatigue and many, many other symptoms. And what's really sad is that when we're dealing with depression and we take an antidepressant, we will keep our depression forever. And the antidepressant can actually make some of us feel more depressed and suicidal. And that's not what we want. So what Dr. Amen says is that we can correct it. We don't have to live like that. And please don't just stop your medication. Work with your doctor, work with your pharmacist, start to do the right things. But I'm telling you that According to the expert, one of the leading brain specialists in the world, you can heal your brain, you can resolve your depression, your anxiety, your mood swings. And I see that in my students all the time. The reason I'm doing this video is because I work with a lot of people that have serious chronic disease like multiple sclerosis and Parkinson's and MS, and most of them have anxiety and depression and mood swings. Uh, may, maybe not all of the mood swings, but the anxiety and depression is like pretty much most, the vast majority of them do. And yes, chronic disease is depressing when we're living with it, we're suffering, but it's much bigger than that. 
so the infections are causing inflammation and the inflammation is what's causing the symptoms. So it's not just the state of affairs, but it's also that our brain is under attack. So the first step, remember, is that the infections are producing poisons that are ca is causing the inflammation and these symptoms, or it is our immune res system's response to these infections through, let's say, a cascade of cytokines, which is just a technical term, but it's something if you want to research it more yourself, you can. And then secondly, some of the medication. So if you're on a medication and you're just, you kind of almost felt worse since you've been taking it, please research it. That's your responsibility. Go to pdr.net, physiciansdeskreference.net. Also talk to your pharmacist. Sometimes it may not be the right medication for you, but never just stop cold turkey because sometimes if we stop these medications, we can get really sick. So make sure to understand you know how these drugs are working in your body. Super, super important because sometimes there are other alternatives in the short term that would be less toxic and safer for you to use. But this is your responsibility and that is what I teach students is to take responsibility for their health. So the key is that what I help people do in the Live Disease Free Academy and the Live Disease Free System is really to learn how to be that health advocate for themselves, to learn how to take charge of their health, to play an active role in their health, to become the director of their health. And when they do, they, number one, can create health. Number two, save a ton of money and frustration, live a much greater quality of life, impact all their family and friends all around them. And it's something that we should have learned in school. It's the most, one of the most important skills we could ever learn. So the steps, how can we recover? So if our brain is being poisoned by all these chemicals, and yes, there are chemicals in the environment like heavy metals, etc. Yes, there can be trauma that's definitely can affect our mood and our depression, etc. But I'm just saying that in chronic disease, if you have had a pretty good life and you haven't gone through major trauma, that the biggest cause of your depression could very well be infections or adverse effects from medications. How do we recover? How do we get to that place where we feel happy inside and peaceful inside? Well, number one, we have to deal with, well, three factors. Number one is our emotional state. So when we are depressed, before we do any of the physical and the environmental things, we also have to consider our emotional state. And we have to do things on purpose to change our emotional state. That would include things like, number one, doing things that are fun. What brings you joy? I want you to make a list of the things that bring you joy in your life. For me, it's my grandkids. They make me laugh. What makes you laugh? Right? Maybe it's a funny show. Maybe there's a couple of funny shows that have been classics that just make you roar with laughter. Get those beta endorphins. So you're consciously watching or doing things that are shifting your emotional state. So what brings you joy? And make sure to connect with people, whether it's talking to them on the phone, whether it's meeting with someone, doing something fun and less on less time online because we spend so much time online where we may see hundreds of people in a day on Facebook or the other platforms, but we're not engaging with people. And what will give you more joy is engaging. Things that I think are fun is I'll play some of my favorite music and I'll dance. Or maybe you can't dance, but you can definitely move, you can shift, but there's some music that just hits your soul, right? Another thing that gives me great joy is my faith in God. So when I was first diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, I was shocked. How could this happen to me? I had been healthy all my life. And so I felt devastated. But the exciting thing is that I had enough experience with God that I knew that he loved me so much. And I knew that he wouldn't abandon me. So I had that hope and I had that joy. And the more time I spend with him, he just fills me up. He just like pours joy into me. So that is a really great one. So if you have a faith, spend more time in prayer and meditation and singing and praise. I promise you, you will be filled up with joy. So that is for me, I use that in today. So today, like I'm not dealing with MS, 
but the work that I do is so incredibly rewarding, but it is so challenging at times because I'm dealing with people that suffer so terribly and I have to keep filling myself up with joy. So it could be inspirational videos also or audios. There's some really wonderful things. So some things online are fine. So that will just kind of pick you up. And so all of these things are important. You have to work on your emotional state. The second one is your body or your physical state or your biological state or your physiological state, whatever you want to call it. You want to build up your health. And we do that in the Live Disease Free Academy with very specific things. So we do it with nutrition. We want to feed our body. We want to feed our brain. Makes all the difference. Cut out the processed foods. If you want to know the eating plan, the Live Disease Free Eating Plan, make sure to watch some of my other videos on YouTube, Live Disease Free on YouTube, or on Facebook, Live Disease Free. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube and that way you will get these videos, these training videos. And it a lot of people have been giving me feedback that it's really changing their life. So with the physical part, feeding the body, but greatly reducing the food to the infections that are making us sick, super important. And then building up our body, supporting our body in ways by cleaning up the environment and also making sure we're sleeping well, having at least eight hours of sleep. If you don't have enough sleep, you are going to feel miserable, right? Depressed, etc. So sleep is so important. And other things like decreasing the toxins. So getting the bowels moving, making sure we're having bowel movements every day and possibly sucking up poisons. These are all things we do in the Live Disease Free Academy. And if you're looking for, or the Live Disease Free System, I should say, if you're looking for ways to get your health and your life back, uh, you want a step-by-step -step plan, you want to be a wellness champion, make sure to look in the feed of uh, below this video or above the video and click on my free masterclass training. And I go into a lot more depth in these steps, but basically we're feeding the body, we are not feeding the infection so much. We are building the body up in various ways by decreasing toxins and uh, looking at our physiology and making sure that our, our blood work is good and making sure that we're getting toxins out. And then we go to the treatment part. And this is the really big shift where people lose their depression. They lose their anxiety. They get lots of energy. They feel peaceful and happy. And I want that for you too. You can create it. It's not that hard at all. And it saves you tons of money, saves you tons of frustration, and you don't get all the adverse effects from those drugs. So at this point, when we're really targeting the infections that are producing the poisons that are poisoning your brain or that are causing your immune system to have this overreaction or immune dysfunction where your brain is really being affected, when you treat them, then you start to go back to feeling like you did in the good old days when you felt like yourself. That is super important is to create health. You only have one life. So as we're treating the infections, we have to build back the good microbes. We have to create that ecosystem, that healthy natural defense inside of us that keeps us strong and protects us from future infections, something that we have to work on all the time. So that would be the, the steps that we take. And of course, we wanna build a healthy lifestyle and all of those other steps are important. But the key is to feed the brain, feed the body and treat the infections. So going on to the last one, environment. So this is where there are so many things in our environment today that we did not have present 50 years ago. So things like heavy metals that we are breathing in, coming in our water and our food, many other things that one thing is the wireless radiation from all of our wireless devices. It can really impact our brain. It can actually make these infections grow so much faster. So we have to clean up our environment. We have to make sure that we decrease all kinds of toxins that are visible and invisible. And when we do that, so this is not a mystery anymore. This is like clear steps that you take. When you do all these things, 
people are recovering from serious chronic disease, they're getting mobility back, they're getting their life back, they're getting their independence back, they're going back to yard work, to travel, to playing with their kids, going back to work, whatever it is that they wanna do. Sometimes depression and anxiety can be debilitating. This is a really big deal. I was a teacher in the school district and um, one of my colleagues, he has, um, he's teaching in this online school program that we have in our local school district. And he said, Pam, there are so many kids that can't go to school because they're dealing with such severe anxiety and depression and health issues. It doesn't have to be that way. We have to become our own healthcare advocate. We have to be the director of our health. We have to create health. Our health is our greatest asset and you can do it. You just have to know the right steps. So if you are in a place where you're done with it, you're just like, I don't wanna live with this anymore. Make sure to watch my masterclass training. You can get started on number one, treating the infections, getting these toxins down and feeling happy again with your life. And as you are recovering from chronic disease, if that is the case, you'll have a lot other, many, many other improvements in your quality of life. So make sure to watch my masterclass training and make sure to go and find me on YouTube and Facebook, Live Disease Free. I have a ton of videos on, I talk about how to reduce the radiation. I talk about how to follow the eating plan many, many other topics. So make sure to go and check them out. I'm very happy to share that with you because I want you to live your best life. So until we meet again, take care and bye for now.